This is John. This, uh, this is the hardest video I ever made in my whole life, guys. I stayed up for many nights, uh, most of the night or all, all night long making it, and during the daytime making it uh, most of the day or a lot of time, long hours in the day, and plus at night, I, sometimes about around the clock. I mean, uh, not, not always, you know, but most, many, many hours I spent working on it, guys. So I hope you enjoy it. I might have to do it in one, part one, two, and three because it's so much. And, uh, but it's a really good video, so you please watch it. You'll really enjoy it. But the, the, de the devil don't want me playing it, and he's done everything. And I had to, I'm having him do it over because he was growling in the video and stuff and everything. And he's, and this girl talks about what she, what I'm going to show you. She saw a, a vision or had a dream from the Lord about what happens in, uh, after the rapture happens. And for those left behind, there's a warning to those left behind. And she said she got attacked real badly, worse than she ever did, by uh, demons and devil and attacking her. And the first time I did the video, also it messed up the sound. Uh, uh, he messed up the sound in the video and everything. I rebuke you, Satan. I rebuke you, Satan, and I, all, all your works in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And also, uh, uh, the video kept messing up. And one time, I it, it messed up one time, and it kept not not starting. So I prayed to Jesus and uh, asked Jesus to to let this message go forth. And I and I rebuked Satan or whatever. I told Satan to stop messing with the video in Jesus' name. And as soon as I prayed that, it started right back again. So praise Jesus. But ho hopefully this time it won't do that. Hopefully. And also, I just want to say, uh, guys, I apologize for thinking that revelation, uh, I mean, that uh, what I told you on, about the 28 days from uh, September 4th, uh, there was, there, you know, I, was, I heard him, Spirit, I heard, let's keep working for 28 days. Guys, the, the devil can trick people, and he's really good at it. Don't think you can't be tricked by him. That's why we all need to pray for verification. I, I prayed for verification. Thought I got it, but what I got was also it turned out to be false because it wasn't from the Lord because it was on that guy that said the uh, earthquake would be uh, what happened before the end of summer. Well, it didn't happen before the end of summer. I didn't know that timer. I would have, uh, if I knew it was, I thought it was going to come past at that time about the earthquake in California, 10.0 earthquake by, by the end of summer, but it didn't. And so that I was using, that wasn't the verification that the Lord gave me, was giving me in. So I should have prayed for more verification. I wondered about that, but I, I thought that's got to be it. But I always, if you don't have good enough verification, pray for better verification from the Lord Jesus. Make sure it's from the Lord. Yeah. You don't believe how Satan's attacking this video, everything he's got. I mean, even growling in the video and stuff. I can't believe it. And so I'm trying it again. And uh, also, anybody, uh, uh, I also asked, oh, yeah, I also asked the Lord Jesus and um, my daddy God, Yahweh, to please forgive me uh, for thinking that was from the Lord uh, and telling people and telling people that it was from the Lord, I think. But I said, I'm not sure. I said, it may be from the enemy. I did say that. I said, but I'm not sure. I said, it could be from the enemy. But I said, I, I, I tend to think it's from Jesus. I did say that, too. And uh, that I heard, and what I heard from 28 days, 28 days put us to October 2nd, and I was wrong. And some woman wrote me and said she had heard in her spirit 28 days. It was keep working for 28 days too, but it was and it ended before my day did. And she said that was strange. She wrote me in my comments to my video with that video. She said that was strange too. The 20, she heard 28 days too. So Satan's working overtime, guys, and uh, he can trick any of us. Don't think he can't. And I want to read this verse, Isaiah 54, 17. For anybody that wants to judge me or, you know, put me down or call me names or anything. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that is raised against me in judgment shall be condemned. So remember that, Isaiah 54, 17. And also... Uh, See if I was going to show you guys. I'll, I'll start this video in a minute. Like I said, I might have to do it in two, two.
two or three parts because it's really long. Let's see what I got here. Oh yeah. Uh, yesterday, last night, I was get, I was get, I, I've been working on this video real hard, guys, for hours and hours and hours. Last night, up to six thirty in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, all night long, didn't get a wink of sleep all night. And uh, that night, uh, I was working. I mean that. Evening, I was working out too, and it was, it was nighttime at dark, but it was still in the evening. And you know, probably about I don't know, eight something. And a bunch of helicopters flew over a trailer, and I was in the bedroom with the door shut, making a video with the door shut, and or one of the bedrooms in a trailer. And I was making a video, and I always shut the door when I make because we got a dog, a little chihuahua dog, and it makes noises and barks or something sometimes, and I didn't want to have it in the video doing that. Uh, and just in case when my wife knows not to holler at me about something and my door shut. Just why I make the video, you know, I ask her not to, just why I make the video. Uh, and uh, what, what I heard uh, sound like, what sounded like a whole army of helicopters flying over a trailer. And I just ignored it and I put it in my mind and just kept concentrating on my video doing what I was doing because I had so much work at time to do. And I know I was ever going to get finished with it. But uh, my wife, come uh, in here and got me and told me please come in there I said she's scared and she had like tears in her eyes and she went outside and had went outside and looked and she said that one of the helicopters was uh there was four helicopters said when she went and looked and this was after she didn't look at first she said there had to be a lot more of the way it sounded but by this time it didn't even sound as loud and it still sounded real loud though when i was as it did at first and there was still four helicopters flying over the house and they was uh, one of them was getting ready to sit down on the uh, the roof of the trailer, she said, looked just like it was going to. Said, what they was doing is probably intimidating me. They, they see everything we do through uh, through the videos, on, video cameras on our iPads and our TVs. They got cameras on our TVs. They can watch. They showed how the, uh, I meant to do a video on how they watch you through your TV video. Anybody can hack into it and watch you uh, through your video. Uh, Satan does, and he puts everything. Uh, I, they got so much technology they're going to use against us guys. In these last days, and he puts uh, Satan, I'm sure, and the Antichrist, uh, which probably is Obama. I'm not sure, but I think it's Obama. Uh, he puts everything in the quantum computers they got probably and stores it to use against us. And also his demons and the devil himself, they, they come and watch us and t report back to Satan, and uh, which Satan will be, uh, and the Antichrist will be Satan in the flesh when he comes back, I'm sure, probably. I mean, I don't, I've heard it's the sun, but I think it's Satan in the flesh. Uh, and also, uh, guys, there's a, uh, that those helicopters was so strange. She said she was so scared she uh, didn't know what to say about it, what to think about it, and she just scared out of her mind. And I said, I said, well, how about this? I said, can I shut the door back? And she said, no. And I said, well, I got to to make a video. I said, would you please care if I shut the door? I said, you can come in here and get me if you hear something else or uh, anything or, or hear something, see something or both or whatever. And I said, you can come in here and tell me and uh, just open the door, come on in. And she said, okay, I'll take that. And she settled down with that and I got to shut the door. But she was so scared of that. I mean, I can't believe how scared she was, but it they was trying to intimidate us. The devil was doing that and trying to stop us from making this video. And this girl here says she was attacked so bad with demonic demonic spirits and stuff and by the devil uh, to stop making this video. When she does, I'll show you that video in just a second. Uh, but, guys, I did see... Uh, I did see uh, Jesus in the skies in Revelation 4, 1 through 2 playing out. I did see that, and, and you can look back at my video I, I did. I got a I got it on video too, of a, of the light shooting up in the sky, like the, from the ground to the up in the sky. And some of my wife at me, and she's like, "That's amazing." There's no way to describe it, guys. And not so I got proof. I caught this on video the first night of it. Then the next night I went out and saw Jesus in the sky, as playing out Revelation four one through two. And he's, he uh, first I saw angels riding horses, then I saw a line, there was demons in the sky too, like it was dark time or something, there was like demons and the devil I saw as a, as a, as a dragon flying around real dark and 
Jesus appeared as a lion of the tribe of Judah and come running across the sky with his eyes glowing like, like stars. Uh, and as soon as he did, the demons fled away in fright. He's powerful. Lord Jesus is powerful, guys. Make sure you're right with him. Make sure you're saved by Jesus. You're washed in his blood. And know he died for us on the cross to pay the price that we, for our debts we owe for our sins. He paid that price with his life, and he, he was totally innocent. And God rose him from the dead on the third day. But also, uh, so here's, if you want to find that video, look down to, go to my website. He is coming soon, my channel. He is coming soon. Uh, and just, uh, you know, click on the blue cross and then go down to, uh, you'll see like people sh going up in the rapture. And then, uh, when you see that video right beside it, it'll say, I caught on three different videos, light shooting up from the ground. When you see that, I caught, I caught, caught on three different videos, light shooting, light shooting up from the ground. Watch that video, and, and I wish I, I wish I could have caught the other on video, but I don't think it would have showed up, so I didn't even try to record it, because it was probably, I think I was seeing it in the spirit. And I don't think they even tried to catch it on video, but I'm sure it wouldn't have showed up, probably. I wish I did. I could have got on video, though. And uh, so, so I did see that. Let me play this right here for you. Hang on, just before I do, guys, let's see. Okay. Second coming. First time he came as a as the carpenter's son. First time he came as the lamb in weakness. First you gotta time watch he it. came to give himself. You gotta watch this whole video because I'm, I'm telling you, it's a really good video I'm getting ready to play after this. And you'll really enjoy uh, this video and it'll show you a lot of things, but you gotta watch all parts of it, okay? To the end. First time he came, he handed himself over to the hands of sinful men. The Bible said they shall take the Son of Man. Sinful men shall and crucify him. He shall yeah, I mean, I'm not talking about this video you enjoy because this is about Jesus getting crucified, but I'm talking about the other videos after this uh, you'll enjoy. Uh, but if he didn't do that, we'd well, all be going to hell because he paid the price for our debts we owe for our sins. I hate he had to suffer like that for me and everybody, though. Uh, praise his holy name. He did it, though. He didn't have to. Love was the only thing holding him to that cross because he could have took himself down off our called on all the angels to come take him off our cross any time he wanted to. Love is the only thing that held him, our guys, because there's love for us. Showed them that that was coming. But when he comes again, glory to God, he's not handing himself over to anybody. He's coming back as the King of kings and Lord of lords. And when heaven opens and the Lord Jesus Christ appears in glory, the demons will scream and they'll run and they'll scatter as hard and as fast as they can. See, I'm that's what I saw in the sky. They, when he appeared as a lion in the sky, Jesus ran across the sky with the stars in his eyes. They fled and frightened the demons fled away. Personally, believe that there's like a, it's, it'd be kind of like a funnel. I mean, all of it'll move aside, and he'll come down. Isaiah chapter number sixty-three says that when he comes back, that the blood will flow upon his garments on the horse. And they'll say, "Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah?" And who he is? He's a king of kings and lord of lords. And you need to understand this. Very important. In the book of Revelation, the Lord Jesus Christ is presented to us as the judge. The one issuing forth commands. All you of a whole universe. Well, this video is inspiring the rest of it, but the first part of it is talking about Jesus' crucifixion. It's falling at his feet. Oh, man, I go Satan again. Uh, I pray against Satan attacking in my video. I'm, I'm doing this to help bring people to the Lord Jesus. And hopefully they get saved by Jesus and help bring in the harvest of souls for the rapture, uh, for the rapture, uh, so for Jesus and his kingdom of heaven. Jesus, will you please, uh, I pray that you let this, let this message, all this message just go forth in these videos and uh, my message go forth in Jesus' name. And saying, worthy is the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. And it is that Lord Jesus Christ tonight, right now, at this very moment, who is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and he's just waiting to come back. 
He's just waiting to come back. Some folks want to keep. Okay. Now, let's go to this one. You know, this is one. This is real important information for anybody after rapture happens. If you're left behind, and a lot of people don't, might not know they might be left behind, so it's good to watch this. Hi, everyone. My name is Anne Marie, and in 2016, I was taken out of my body and out of body experiences that would be classified as the visions in um, the Bible. Okay. John the Revelator experienced this to write the book of Revelation. Also, Daniel did as well. And also, Paul and Peter talk about visions that they saw. Okay, so to get this message out to you, I have suffered a great deal since it came to me in 2016. I have left, I've had to leave apartments, a kid, and jobs. I'm getting my child back but this is I've and the Bible talks about that it talks about those who have to leave things for his name's sake but the enemy came after me to murder me because this is big time what I experienced and he knows getting this out to you could save your life and and save your soul Jesus could save your soul before you have to experience these things I was shown the great tribulation, okay, very specific details about the great tribulation, and it was in our generation, our lifetime, that's the way I can describe it to you. My family and me had been taken off the earth, okay, we're believers, we follow Christ, you know, and this is what I saw left behind. It looked like the Hunger Games. That's how I can describe it to you. Your thoughts and your heart had to be on Jesus Christ, number one. If, if you still were worldly, even after we had left, God was giving the, a chance to the people that were on earth. But it was very, very hard. Because as soon as your thoughts got polluted by something in the world, you would be harassed and possibly murdered by fallen devils, fallen, the fallen ones, demons, okay? They were playing games with mankind. They were hunting them. Everything looked as it did now, but there was devils everywhere on the street. And the way to escape the wrath of them was to... Praise Jesus. Bless his name. Be studying the Bible anywhere. Even if you didn't have a Bible, be re anything you, you remember as a child, any verse you remember, any Bible story, just setting your heart on Jesus and your thoughts. This is an example. There was one woman left behind, and the devils had blown a whistle. They were taunting mankind. And she started to think about her money over God. And she was pulling backwards to the pit. They took her to the pit. Okay, I saw the devils chasing mankind everywhere. I saw martial law and demonized, uh, demonized soldiers and demonized police um, coming into houses with machine guns and, and pulling, you know, they got people out and were putting them in places. So you had no control. Okay. Um, the Bible says when these things happen, that Jesus will hide those people in the, in the mountains. I know the Jews will be hidden in the mountains and you wanted to praise Jesus. You wanted to get right with him right away when this happened, because your thoughts, they could, they could analyze your thoughts. These creatures knew your thoughts and the Spirit of God wasn't there. It was like um, very, very cold. But Jesus still was, was uh, still had his hand in, 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 on earth. You know, he still was seeking those who really wanted to be right with him. Like I, I could see youth left behind, teenagers left behind. There was no children. I didn't see anybody under the age of 12. Um, give or take, um, but I saw high school kids left behind, and they they were just really in fear, like they didn't, you know, um, 
and they they just had you know they just look like they were in shock okay so yes if you are not uh, don't have Jesus as your personal Savior and following the commandments, the first one especially, keep loving the Lord God with your whole heart, soul, body, and mind, you could be left behind because, listen, God's kingdom is about love. It's about, and then putting, loving your neighbor as yourself, loving your brother and sister as yourself. Okay, you got to keep your heart pure towards God. So this is the people that were left behind. They had put their mind on something else worldly okay they they weren't serving God with all all of their heart soul body and mind but let's get back to it so I saw demonized uh, military demon demonized police just busting in houses um, there was like little toys of car little little uh, kids toys and and their their belongings all left behind um, you know, so all the believers had been taken, taken off the earth. And I also saw a, um, people worshiping this beast, young people, even like in their twenties, they had been, they were under a strong delusion and they had taken the mark of the beast, the RFID implant, and they were all worship. There it goes. All right. Um. I rebuke, I rebuke you, Satan, and all, all your works in Jesus' holy name. Uh, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Jesus, please let this uh, message go forth. Uh, I pray this in Jesus' holy name. Being this beast, Thank and you, they Lord. were saying they Jesus. were blaspheming God, and they were saying, "Look at God, His face." They had the wrong idea of who God was completely. So they were all worshiping the beast, and they were all of one one delusion so there was this group that was all just praising this beast as he was um he was leading them and they had lost the ray they had lost their soul i don't know if they were ever christians to begin with but they had lost it they had received the mark of the beast so there was um uh, many things going on you know uh martial law demonized uh military and then you've got people that receive the mark of the beast and then you've got people that are that are in shock that are um, scared to death and if you are left behind you want to set your heart and mind on Jesus right away and think nothing of uh, anything worldly or think nothing of what's you know just keep your mind focused because that was the way to fight it was that God knew the people that wanted to be saved, he was still looking after them. But now they had they had work to do in their selves. And prayer, what the Lord just spoke to me is praying, prayer. So um, I saw also uh, demons wa running down the street and they were going into the houses of people who, who were left behind and they were just running in there murdering uh, the people left behind in their homes who'd rejected Jesus. They'd rejected his message. And um, they were, so they had full access to your homes. There was no, no safety. The only, uh, well, there was safety putting your praying to Jesus. So I just want to tell you that um, it is soon too, because it was in my, it was in our lifetime. Um, so that's what I saw. And I'm going to, you know, get work out the fine details, but I don't, I hate horror movies, but it really did remind me of like the others or the Hunger Games. And um, it was real, folks. And I also saw visions of hell. I saw people from Earth, like Patrick Swayze, he's one that you all would know. I saw him in hell be, this was a, during another out of body experience. I um, vision, I classified as a vision. I saw him being tortured horrendously by demons. Okay, they were throwing things at him in hell. And um, so, you know, <laughs> this is real folks, hell is real. You know, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord as a believer. So I really pray that you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and then keep his commandments. God came to fulfill 
uh, the commandments. You know, we are saved by grace. If we, um, you know, if, if, if we make a mistake, then the grace covers us. But God still wants us to keep his commandments, okay? So put God first, love, love your neighbor as yourself. And ask God to purify your heart. You know, we can tell when something, when we're holding bitterness or unforgiveness or anger. You can feel it. You can feel tension. Get on your knees and pray to God. Say, deliver me. Surrender your full heart. Surrender your self-will to God, too. Okay? God has the best plan for your life. And remember, the Bible says, whoever shall lose his life for my name's sake shall gain it. And whoever shall gain his life shall lose it. So we can't be attached to anything in this world. We cannot. And God has spoken to me about um, lusting, lust of the flesh, and immorality, and idolatry, and in, in the, even in the body of Christ. Okay? So if you want to go with God up in the rapture, You've got to come out of all that stuff. You've got to come out of it. It's a form of demon worship. A lot of times, something that we listen to that's secular, something that we see, it's a form of, of you know, uh, demonic activity. It comes through the music, the secular music, especially now where we're in the end of the end days. Okay, so um, be careful what you, you put into your, to your mind. Okay, and just um, this is a time of purification, and um, God is perfecting us in holiness, and it's also a time of improvement, God told me. So we're being taken. You might, you might wonder, well, why am I not at the next level? There's something that you've asked for, and it hasn't, it hasn't happened for you yet. Maybe that you thought you were going to get a, a church, or maybe you thought you were going to get a bonus or something like that, because the saints are in a time of improvement, Okay, it will happen for you, but keep in prayer and keep seeking. Okay, and uh, also <clears throat> God told me that the, 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 he, he gave me the word ripe. Now, what I believe he means about that is the wheat and the tares are ripe. So um, the wheat is God's children and they are ripe, but the tares are the devil's children, and they are ripe. And remember, in the end times, we all grow up together. That's in the New Testament. So we're all growing up together, and we've been, the, the wheat has been sown by God, and then the tares have been sown by the devil. So we've got um, a big division in our society now. So, um, you know, God has got, the angels are the reapers, and the angels are eventually going to come down and tie the devil's children up in bundles and throw them in the fire and then the angels are going to put the the god's children in the barn and to be with god forever okay folks so we are in the end of the end days so let's just be prepared love you all right guys and keep watching uh, all parts one two and three of the video however many parts there is to it it's very important to watch all parts of this video i'm going to do uh, I'll do as much as I can on the first video and then uh, add uh, parts to it after I can't I do no more. I can only hold so much uh, memory. It only records so much memory on my iPad and then I'll start part two. Watch all the parts, guys. I don't want to make the same mistake I made before, so uh, I just want to say the last video I played, I said that it was from, from the Lord. I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say the girl said it was from the Lord, but... Uh, but take everything to the Lord in prayer. Anything, anything I tell you, or as you can see, or anything anybody tells you, because I make mistakes, and so does everybody else. We're only human. And uh, we need to pray for better verification, like I said, and make sure it's from the Lord when we get hear something. Because the enemy's real busy attacking us. And uh, this woman here says this. She got this message from the Lord, too. I'm going to play this. My loves, listen, it is time for me to come unto you and carry you home. My child, listen, it is time for me to 
come and gather you unto myself. Now, it sounds like he's saying the same thing over and over, but in between all of this, I'm having to rebuke. I'm having to stay consistently in prayer and press in and try and hear him. And I'm like, Lord, please tell me again. I'm having trouble hearing. And so if you hear some of these repeats, it's because he's answering me because I'm trying to press in and get the message, okay? My child, listen, it is time for me to come and gather you unto myself. It is time for hindrances to be put aside and let go, buried beneath the sea. My words to you this day are truth, and they are these. My loves, listen, for the world shall be coming to naught. Now, I want to talk to you about that word, too, because I looked it up, and the word is not, N-A-U-G-H-T, okay? Some people say, well, that just means nothing. There's many, many different definitions to that word, so please, well, let's talk about that, okay? I continue to say, Father, I'm not hearing clearly. Can we start this message over? There was times that I'm like, Lord, please let me hear this entire message. If you want this to go publicly, I want to make sure that I'm getting the entire thing exactly as you're saying it. Um, he said, daughter, speak forth these words. Many are sleeping. But I say unto you this day, you shall be awakened. There is a mighty force forthcoming that will shake the earth with great force, shattering all that you see about you. My loves, listen. It is time to come forth within me and enable yourself to see from a protected stance. And again, another attack, another break of trying to break what was, what was coming. Um, in continuation with prayer, I receive this. There is a great shaking coming upon your land. Prepare for it, my doves, for it shall surely come. I say this unto you so that you can prepare. Prepare your hearts. Prepare your homes. Prepare your stance in me, for I am forever and eternity. Don't you know that I have been calling out unto you? For some time now, haven't you heard my call upon the wind? Are you not ready to return home unto me? Forecasters shout about the weather changes, or shout out about the weather changes. My people have been warning about my coming, yet no one heeds the warning. No one desires to hear that change must come, yet it must come, my children. Watch for me in the coming days, for I will be calling out to those who have ears to hear. Come upon the wind, my children, and wash yourselves in the waters, for it is time, my love, to come unto me. Search your hearts, my loves. Search your hearts, my children of the world. Seek deeply, look deeply into your hearts. Then more attack consistently stayed in prayer. I got two sentences after this one. Falter not in the coming days, for it will be me strengthening you to get through. I shall carry you, my doves, unto the other side, for I am able to do so. Still, I had to finally, I finally put about 10-15 minutes of just silence in between me and um, pressing in with prayer. Um, but after about 15 minutes, I started back again. And I got what I believe to be the final part of the message. Um, it says, my dub, listen, there are times coming upon the land that will cause a great shaking. And in these times, many will falter as it will cause a great distress. My child, listen to the words that I say unto you this day. Walk forth boldly, my children, and know that my hand is upon your lives. You shall see this and know it to be true in the days ahead. My glory upon some, my ways seen upon them. You will know them by their fruit. You will see great amasses 
of glory. And that was the end of the message that I got that day. Again, I received this message the morning of February the 2nd under great attack. Um, so if anything, he's right. warning us. There's a shaking coming, and we have to be ready for it. Without it and ending. we're getting ready to be called home. Okay? So these two things um, he's putting forth into this message. Now, okay, that's the end of what I was wanting you to hear. And uh, keep watching, guys, because this is part one. There's going to be a part two, part three, probably at least. you got to watch them all. Please watch part one, two, and three. And if there's part four, I don't know. All right, see you guys on the next video. Love you. Love you all. Love all you guys.